morning. Welcome back to Breakfast Television. I'm Tara Jean in for Riaz this week. He'll be here on Thursday. And joining us on Breakfast Television, a friend of the show, which I love because I'm new here, so you make me feel so much more comfortable. You're well aware of this, this couch, hey, Yvette? Yes. <laughs> Dr. Yvette Liu is joining us this morning. She's going to be telling us about how to determine that you actually have seasonal allergies. I know a lot of people are probably walking around today thinking they just have a cold. How can you tell the difference? So an allergy is what happens when your body recognizes a protein in the environment and sees it as foreign. So we call those proteins allergens. And what happens is the body thinks that allergen is foreign, so it reacts to it like it's a virus or a bacteria, and it causes like histamine release, release of inflammatory chemicals, and it reacts to an allergen the same way it would react to a virus or a bacteria. And that's why sometimes you can have difficulties figuring out if you have an allergy or if you have a cold. So if you've had a cold for quite a long time, like a cold that just won't go away, you might want to talk to your doctor about whether or not you have allergies. And can an allergy actually lead to a hacking cough? I know a lot of people have been walking around for long periods of time with that chest cold. How, how can you tell the difference between that and an allergy? Well, it, it can. An allergy can lead to a cough. It so it is something that you have to think about. Sometimes I tell people to try an antihistamine to see if it, it makes their symptoms better. Allergies often have other associated symptoms like itchy eyes, uh, throat, throat sore throat, scratchy throat, and especially in kids, allergies might present differently. Kids might present with running, rubbing their nose or throat clearing. They might have poor school performance or they might be, not be unable to keep up with other kids in their PE class. So it could actually so, impact your concentration? Yes, for sure. Some people who have allergies might just feel fatigue or lack of concentration at work or at school. So let's put on our detective hats for a second. I want to imagine there's someone watching right now and they've got the symptoms. They're not too sure which it is. Uh, if they have what they think are allergy symptoms today, Tuesday, May 9th, we're in the spring, what are they most likely allergic to? Well, usually in the spring, people are allergic to trees. So alder, beech, birch, cedar, hemlock, Does oak. it matter which one, or is it all one it, it's, Yeah, well, some people, you can, you can just, you can do allergy testing to figure out exactly which specific allergens you're, you're allergic to. You can also look on apps or online to Those see Those aren't just gimmicks, because I've heard about the apps, and I go, oh yeah, whatever. But they can actually help you determine what you're allergic to. Yeah, there's an organization that measures pollen counts in the large cities in Vancouver, Toronto, all across Canada, and they measure the pollen counts. So if you can look at the pollen counts on the days that you have more symptoms and then sort of correlate to which pollens are high on the days you have more symptoms, you can sort of figure out what you're allergic to. Now, a more probably accurate way to figure out what you're allergic to is go to the allergy the allergist and get allergy oh, that's testing. Easy. Yeah. Yeah, that's way too easy. You gotta yeah. be Dr. Google, use technology, that's how I roll. So you know what I'm really curious about as well as we're talking about seasonal allergies is the seasons have been very different in Metro Vancouver the last few months. So we've had an incredibly cold winter, which we're not used to on the West Coast, and that's kind of extended into the spring, earlier parts of the spring a bit. Is that going to change the way someone's experiencing their seasonal allergies in 2017? Well, this year we've had a long cold winter and a long cold spring and also a very wet spring. So the pollens, which are what cause the allergies in the spring, have been delayed. So allergy season has been delayed. And with all the rain, often so the rain... So you're not cured. No. <laughs> you're not suffering yet. <laughs> well, some people can have allergies that vary from year to year. So you might have bad allergies one year and be less susceptible to allergies another year. But there will be pollens this year. And I, I think a lot of people are already suffering allergies this well, year. Thank you so much, Dr. Yvette Liu, friend of the show here on Breakfast mm -hmm. Happy to have her be part of the show this morning.